Hey everyone, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this video I'll be having a look at Venom now. Again, like quite a few heroes I've reviewed, he's one that I've not played in quite some time, so I'm a little bit rusty on him, but I can actually see the looks to be maybe one or two new skills and some of the animations have been kind of tidied up as well. So let's have a look at the first tree, which is Lethal Protector. Now with this tree the actual skills appear to be the same, some of the mechanics have changed and the first skill we actually look at which is Hunger and Strike, the animation has been changed, it's now more of a, a, a fist rather than a, a claw attack which I believe the Venom fans are wanting, so I'll show that off. There you go there, it's doing a lot more punching before, it was basically claws the whole time. Now next up we have the dash attack which is tendril lunge, just standard cooldown and charges there. And then we have web snapshot which is the basic ranged attack, this would restore health. And then predator's web, this is your slow and vulnerability. Followed up by dark tendrils, with this it does 2% for each 1% of health you are missing, so nice for low health builds. And then web cannon. This one does the same thing in that it does 2% damage for each 1% of health you are missing. And then we have Come to Venom, which is just the same as it operates on live. I believe it's restoring Icor, so you want to hit that every so often to keep that up. And then we have Parasitic Tendrils, and this one again is the same. It drains targets, it restores Icor and also health and gives you damage resistance as well. And then finally we have Web Sling Kick here. So this could be uh, a skill that gives you a bit of mobility given that there's no cooldown on it. But let's look at the next tree which is Monstrosity. So the first skill we have here is Infect. Now this has slightly changed from life in that enemies that are affected by this trigger an Icor burst when they're defeated. So that's quite interesting if there was a big group of mobs and you would see them all exploding with that. And then next up we have Devouring Tendrils, this just works the same, the health regen is on an enemy defeat, I'm not sure if, if on live it's actually kind of just passive health regen as you're hitting with it, any Venom fans can let me know in the comments. And then we have Deadly Maw, this is now a cooldown attack but there is a talent which allows you to restore it as a spender should you wish. And following on from that we have Hungry Maw. This is your kind of crash down move with knockdown and health regen built into it. And then we have a new skill here with potentially, I think, Agent Venom's tooltip icon. It's Tendril Impale. It does extra damage versus weakened enemies. And there we go. We can see it there. I'll actually show it one more time. It's a low cooldown. Why not? There we go. And then let's see, next up we have Riven Tendrils, so unleash a terrifying swarm of tiny symbiote tentacles that devour anything they encounter. This is your weaken, and it just works the same as it would on live. And then we have Symbiote Surge. The only difference I believe in this is you now notice that it has charges on it. And then finally we have the signature Symbiotic Spikes, that appears to operate the same as live as well. So let's now look at the talents and traits. So we'll now we'll have a look at the talents and traits. The offensive trait is Symbiotic Strength, that's Brutal Strike Chance 5%. Arch type is Tank, giving a bonus to Durability or Strength. The defensive trait is Symbiote Skin, so you're gaining health and when you drop below 35% that effect is tripled. The Arch type is Tough, giving a bonus to Defense and Deflect and of course he has the 8% damage reduction as well there. The primary resource is Icar, so nothing's changed with that. Now, before we discuss the talents, one thing I missed just a moment ago is with the signature you'll notice the yellow writing symbiotic adaption. Now, if we hover over the first talent, you'll see that it's got the kind of passive portion of it and the main portion of it, which can be active all the time or based on a cooldown. So in this case, we are monstrous is 25% chance to cause an infect when you hit with any power. But if we look further down, Symbiotic Adaption, and what that does is when we use the signature, this will actually add this particular effect to it. So you're looking at potentially being able to add five different combinations of effects to your signature, which is interesting. 
and it certainly could make it very powerful. Now, because the length of these tool tips and also the fact it's getting late here and I'm, I'm getting a bit tired, what I'll do as I run through them is I'll read off the top description of the kind of passive main part of it and I'll leave you guys to read the actual tool tip for the symbiotic adaption bit. It's just going to save a lot of time, otherwise we're looking at a lot of long tool tips to read out here. So let's look at the next one, that's We Are Unrelenting. And with that, as a 25% chance to cause a symbi symbiote surge when you hit with any power. And that's got a 4 second cooldown and symbiote surge damage goes up by 10%. We then have We Are Consuming. So 30% chance to trigger one tick of parasitic tendrils. That's 5 second cooldown and the damage goes up by 10% as well. And for talent line number 2 we have We Are Lethal. So Dark Tendrils and Web Cannon now deal up to 50% more bonus damage based on missing health. And then We Are Hungry, Deadly Maw and Hungry Maw gain the following effects. Total damage 10%, health regenerated 50%. So that's nice there, make them very tanky. And then We Are Deadly, Tendril and Pale max charges go up by 3 and the cooldown comes down by 1 second. And then talent line number 3, we are powerful. Come to Venom gains the following effects. Total damage 100%, cooldown increased plus 4 seconds, and melee damage is increased by 10 seconds with this. And then we have we are legion, so 50% chance when you hit with an icor spending power to create a symbiote spawn. And uh, it's giving you the stats of it, you can have a maximum of 3 symbiote spawns with a duration of 17.6 seconds there. And then we are violent. Health costs are increased by 50%. Powers that spend health deal 10% more damage. And talent line number 4 now. We are cunning. Max Icor goes up by 100. Icor cost reduction 20%. Then we are vicious. Deadly Maw loses its cooldown and costs 50% less Icor. Deals 60% normal damage and heals for half as much health. Icor cost increased 10%, critical hit chance for Icor powers 10%, and brutal strike chance for Icor powers 10%. And then we are unseen. Tendril lunge applies still for 3 seconds. Riven tendrils gains the following effects. Total damage 100%, cooldown increased by 4 seconds, and this also buffs range damage. For the final line, we have we are reckless. When below 50% maximum health, damage resistance up by 10%, base damage up by 25%. Then next up we have We Are Indestructible. With this, Web Cannon and Dark Tendrils bonus damage effects always assume you have 35% missing health. And the health cost of both of these skills come down by 50%. Healing from all sources goes up by 25%. That can make you really tanky there. And then finally, We Are Unstoppable. Defense and deflect rate and multiplier increase by 20%, and you regenerate 100% of max health and icor when you're defeated. So, overall, he's, he is interesting. I really don't know enough about Venom to comment more than, than saying that he is interesting, because I know the Venom fans, I think the Venom that's in the game at the moment isn't the Venom that a lot of Venom fans actually want. So, I do believe in order to please them, which which guys sh really should be looking to do is please the hardcore fans. They've still got quite a lot of changes to do. I do, however, like the the idea of all these different talents being tied into his signature. That will hopefully create some interesting gameplay. But I hope this video was interesting. If you guys have any comments or observations, please leave them in the comments section and I'll, I'll get back to you. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the last few videos.